ओके कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इंटरफेरेंस फ्रॉम थिन फिल्म्स दैट इज न्यूटन स्ट्रिंग्स हियर सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव लर्न्ड अबाउट इंटर इंटरफेरेंस फ्रॉम थिन फिल्म्स दैट इज इन एयर वेज सो कमिंग टू दिस इज न्यूटन स्ट्रिंग्स इंस्टेड ऑफ वेज शेप्ड फिल्म्स इंटरफेरेंस इज पॉसिबल इवन इन कर्व्ड फिल्म्स आल्सो से दिस इज कर्व्ड फिल्म how the curved film is formed so as shown in the figure here say so this is the uh, okay uh, this is a uh, figure that is in which a circular glass plate is placed on the sorry this is a plano convex lens this plano convex lens this is plane surface and it is a curved surface this plano convex lens is placed on this circular glass plate say because of these two here this plano convex lens and uh, circular glass plate we both are contact at a point o of course say so around this point of contact this is a air film of varying thickness so this film is also here called curved film so that whenever light is incident on this curved film curved film so here the thickness of the film is d so whenever light is incident on this curved film it will be reflected from the upper surface of the curved film and also from the lower surface of the curved film as a result some path reference existing between them so here because of the path reference existing between these two reflect light rays which are from the upper surface and lower surface of this curved film so circular interference fringes can be produced by enclosing a very thin film of air of varying thickness between a plano convex lens between a plane glass plate and a plano convex lens of a large radius of curvature say so this is plano convex lens which has a uh, radius of curvature that is capillar the capillar is called radius of curvature of this plano convex lens so in other words how can you define the radius of curvature of this plano convex lens say so here we have to calculate uh, what is the formula for this radius of curvature also because in our physics lab we have this experiment newton's ring experiment in which the aim of the experiment is to determine the radius of curvature of the given plano convex lens this is the plano convex lens this is upper surface is plane surface lower surface is curved surface this is plano convex lens so that so what is the formula for radius of curvature before that here yeah, what is radius of curvature what is the, how can you define the radius of curvature of this uh, plano convex lens suppose this plano convex lens is obtained from which sphere say by enclosing this uh, plano convex here by completing this plano convex lens here by using dotted lines here that means this plano convex lens is a part of the sphere of radius capillar this plano convex lens is a part of the sphere of radius r so the radius of a sphere is also taken as the radius of curvature of this plano convex lens so radius of curvature is defined as the radius of this sphere from which the lens has been taken अंत ये स्पीयर नीचे प्लेनो कांवेक्स लेंसमो कटेसमो आ स्पीर या रेडियस ने प्लेनो कांवेक्स लेंस रेडियस आफ कर्वेचर अटार इज इट क्लियर ना हेलो वाट द रेडियस आफ कर्वेचर आफ दिस प्लेनो कांवेक्स लेंस दिस प्लेनो कांवेक्स लेंस इज अब फ्रम विच स्पीयर सो द रेडियस आफ दि स्पीयर फ्रम विच the radius of the sphere from which the lens has been taken so that uh, that radius is called the radius of curvature of curvature. the lens so coming to this one if monochromatic light is allowed to fall normally and viewed normally incident on this uh, air film curved film which is placed a form between uh, curved surface of the plano convex lens and plane surface of the circular glass plate so then what happens dark and bright circular fringes known as newton's rings are produced so bright and dark fringes are observed here the fringes are circular because the air film has circular symmetry say so this air film that means around this point of contact around this point of contact 
there is a symmetrical air film that is in circular shape or the locus of all points which are having same thickness is a circle here so if we observe from top view top pai nunchi chusinatlaite so top view chusinatlaite around this point of contact the air film is in the form of concentric circle so here concentric circles are produced bright and dark rings are formed so that these are called the fringes are circular because the air film has a circular symmetry so that is about the formation of newton's rings by using a planar convex lens is placed on the circular glass plate yeah come into newton's rings so how the fringes are formed what happens that means uh, when the light rays incident on this uh, uh, air film curved film so it will be reflected uh, okay from the upper surface of the air film and also lower surface of the air film so that picture will be observed in this uh, uh, slide also when light is incident on the plane of convex lens part of the light incident on the system is reflected from glass to air boundary set point d here yeah. say cd is incident light because the already we know that this arrangement so the first one is here it is a plane of convex lens the second one is here ab is a circular glass plate both are arranged in such a way that both are uh, contact at a point o the point of contact of these two is o around this point of contact there is a circle of film air film is formed so whenever a light ray cd is incident on this thin film curved film so that from the point d where point d is glass to air boundary this is the glass to air boundary say at point d it will be reflected and the remaining part here dj this is the remainder of the light is transmitted through the air film and it is again reflected from the a to glass boundary this is a to glass boundary point j is called a to glass boundary so this a to glass boundary set so point at a point j so a to glass boundary say from point j again it will be reflected so this is the first one the two rays that is one and two reflected from the top and bottom of the air film interfere with each other to produce darkness and brightness that means bright and dark fringes are observed because here we have to incident only the monochromatic light monochromatic light uh, uh, just like a uh, sodium vapor lamp etc coming to this one so uh, the interference effect is due to the combination of ray one say these two light rays the reflect light rays which are participating in the uh, subject to interference phenomena which are participating in interference phenomena so here that is the interference effect is due to the combination of ray 1 so this is ray 1 reflected from the flat surface that is this is flat surface at a point j flat surface means from the circular glass plate okay at a point j okay reflected from the flat surface with the ray to reflected from the curved surface of the lens from point d ikkada chudandi so ray 1 undergoes a phase change of 180 degrees or pi ray 1 say here ah uh, ray 1 this is ray 1 say this ray 1 undergoes a phase change of 180 degrees upon reflection because it is reflected from the a medium of higher ref, higher index of refraction so because the second this, from point j say it will be reflected so this will be reflected from the surface here a to glass boundary say from point j that means a to glass boundary so a to glass boundary that means and beyond this uh, uh, surface here beyond this point j this is a denser medium that means uh, which are which which has a higher index of refraction so that it has uh, the ray one undergoes a phase change of pi a uh, 180 degrees or path reference of lambda by 2 whereas here and ray two undergoes no phase change because it is reflected from a medium of low refractive index okay glass air glass interface phase change pi yes coming to yeah this is experimental setup 
say this experimental setup uh, will also observe in our physics lab also. So this is the sodium vapor lamp. This is approximately taken as a uh, monochromatic light. So it emits light energy, so which is incident. Okay, light from uh, sodium vapor lamp is a little incident on this glass plate, which is inclined to 45 degrees. So uh, above this glass plate, there is a microscope is there. So it is a traveling microscope. So the, uh, from this traveling microscope, just we have to observe the formation of these Newton's rings. Say this is glass plate, which is inclined to 45 degrees. Whenever these light rays are incident from the source on this glass plate. So again, from this glass plate, they're normally incident on this system of a plane of, of the system of is consisting of a plane of convex lens and the circular glass plate. So this is a air film, curved film is observed between these two. So these are the formation of the Newton's rings. That is because of the light is that that, that means the interference is observed in the reflected light rays. Reflect light rays of the reflect light rays of the okay uh, thin film actually because these two light rays are reflected from the uh, different parts of the different parts of the thin film or curved film. That is one is reflected from the upper surface of the thin film and that second one is reflected from the lower surface of the thin film as a, res as a result because of these two which are having some optical path reference so that uh, we have, have to observe uh, the formation of the bright and dark rings or circular rings. Okay, uh, these are called Newton's rings. Say coming to this diagram, Newton's rings. Yeah, a plane of convex lens is placed on plane glass sheet, a glass surface. So this is the plane of convex lens. So, so we consider we take a plane of convex lens, which is placed on this circular glass plate. So an air film of increasing thickness is formed. Already I have explained this one. This is the air film of increasing thickness. Say uh, here, uh, at point of contact, the thickness of the film is zero. As we are moving away from this point of contact, the thickness of the curved film or air film is increased. At which here, uh, from this point of contact, around this point of contact, the thickness of the air film is increased. Okay. Interference occurs between ray 1 and 2. Children, so above this, uh, so above this uh, diagram, the diagram of the diagram of the diagram the diagram of 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 the diagram this uh, from this point BC, it is instant on this curved film. So it will be reflected from one uh, that is a C1 and uh, it is reflected from D2. So C1 and D2, these two are reflect light rays which are reflected from the different parts of the thin film. So that these are having two optical path reference which, which are having an optical path reference between them. So that uh, we have to calculate that optical path reference. If this optical path reference existing between these two reflect light rays is equal to M lambda, it is a condition for maxima. A 2m plus 1 lambda bit, it is condition for minima. So that here, uh, see that picture also. Uh, see that uh, here and that matter also. Ray 2 undergoes a phase change of 180. Already I, I have explained. Okay, ray 2, that means ray 2 here. Uh, because here we have no change in this notation here. So instant light is AB, here ABC, here. One is uh, reflected from the upper surface, two is reflected from the lower surface. That is, the second light ray is reflected from the A to glass uh, surface. Okay, so ray to undergoes a phase change of 180 when reflected from A to glass. Okay, is it clear now? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Uh, clear, sir. Ah, okay, coming to this one. So, this is a condition for maximum and minima. Optical path reference is equal to 2 medi cos r plus lambda. Of course, alpha this kunamu and the medium laman ki the bend out nikapte alpha manamu. Alpha is very small, can be neglected. So r is equal to 0 this kuntanamu because normal incidence r is equal to 0, cos 0 1 no. So 2d plus lambda bit is optical path reference. If this will be equal to manaku maxima condition, minima condition rendu telsu, maxima it and lambda wali, minima it m lambda. 2m plus 1 lambda bit. And m is equal to m is equal to 2d plus lambda bit is equal to this is optical path difference between 1 and 2. 
which are reflected from the different parts of the thin film or air film. Okay, so that if this optical path reference is equal to n lambda, so we got two d is equal to two n minus one lambda by two. If this optical path reference is equal to two n plus one lambda by two, then we got this. Okay, the same thing, no? Uh, lambda by two minus lambda by two lambda by two cancel. Okay, plus is correct. Okay, two d plus lambda by two is equal to two n plus one to lambda by two lambda by two lambda by two cancel. So two d is equal to n lambda. So because we are using only dark fringe condition because it, for only simplification. So two d is equal to n lambda. In case of course in some uh, other uh, books also, if d is replaced by t also, already I have explained thin film also. The thickness of the thin film is d and anikara. Of course t could be scotch. It is good if it is d is replaced by t so 2t is equal to n lambda we got the condition for dark fringe so newton's ring will be observed for transmitter light as well uh, with the opposite conditions for minimum and maximum suppose you know these that means the newton's rings are observed in reflected light rays only like a transmit light rays light rays look at your object change what me a transmit light rays to observe just a i mean to change out there Uh, condition for maximum minimum just interchange out there. So a point is checked. Yeah. Uh, coming to this one. So in our lab, we have to calculate the radius of curvature of this plane of convex lens by using formula. Here r is equal to d square minus d square n by 4 lambda into minus n. Okay. Diameter of fringes uh, rings. Uh, from the uh, so for this here uh, already I have explained. So this is P Q is P Q O P Q is the plane of convex lens. Please see all of you. This is a uh, this this figure actually geometrical figure in which uh, this is a P O Q. This is the P O Q is the plane of convex lens. Okay, and uh, A B is A O B is a circular glass plane. Now. Already we know that uh, this plane of convex lens is a part of this sphere of radius capital R. E sphere नंचे मान की ये plane of convex lens मन कच्चेस को नमो. So E sphere का radius से दिने का radius of curvature आउट नंदी अनचे पन. So so that you have to uh, construct a sphere of radius R. This radius of this sphere is also uh, known as the radius of curvature of this plane of convex lens. So, from the property of a circle, so it is placed on the circular glass plate. So this is the radius of this plate. Of course, you have to observe the nth dark fringe. The nth dark fringe radius for R P is equal to. So, from the property of a circle, n P into n Q, n P into n Q. From the property of a circle, already you have in a previous class you have learned uh, in the mathematical uh, okay in the mathematics your lower class mathematics. So from the property of circles, n p into n q is equal to n p into n q is equal to r into r is equal to n o into uh, n d, n n o into n d. So n o into n d. So n o is nothing but n o is parallel to this is the thickness of this uh, curved film, air film. So here d. Of course, in some other textbooks it is replaced with d also. D to ne chupi inch calls na vastu ledo. T to kora chupi inch achu. Of course, ma D T is kunam din klo. Say n o is equal to D. So that uh, uh, the uh, here uh, n D is how much? The value of n D is how much? If it is D, the total is R. Sorry, the total is two R because this is R. C O is R. C O is R and C D is R. R plus R two R. So C C D is actually oh sorry O O C plus C D. So O C is R. So this is C D is R. So here N O is nothing but two. N O is nothing but D. Was was gonna move. N D is nothing but two R minus D. So total is two R. E two R lunch D T is end. D T is the this is this value that is N D value. So N D is equal to the value of N D is equal to two R minus D. Is it clear now? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. The value of n o is the value of n o is equal to d m. So value of n d is equal to n d value ka wali. So total value two r lunchi this value this endi. So the total value is nothing but two r. Two r lunchi d this endi. D this is something ki dun tundi n d value un tundi. 
ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ అ ప్రాఫిట్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రాఫిట్ ఆఫ్ సర్కిల్స్ ఆ ప్రాఫిట్ ఆఫ్ ఓకే సర్కిల్స్ నుంచి తెలుసు సో ఇప్పుడు ఆర్ ఇంటూ ఆర్ ఇస్ కూడా ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు మల్టిప్లై చేయండి డి ఇంటూ టూ ఆర్ మైనస్ డి డి ఇంటూ టూ ఆర్ టూ ఆర్ డి మైనస్ డి ఇంటూ డి డి స్క్వేర్ ఇఫ్ డి ఈస్ వెరీ మచ్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ డి ఈస్ thickness of this curved film air film is very much less than r where r is radius of curvature this is very okay this r is very much greater than d both are same so r is always greater than d thickness of the thin film to compare chesthe radius of curvature ekku untundi so d is very much less than r or r is very much greater than d r square is equal to 2 r d so r square is equal to d square term can cancel chestamu R square is equal to 2 RD. Ostundi. So, if R square is approximately equal to 2 RD, then you know that D is equal to R small R square by 2 R. Small R square by 2 R. For bright fringes, if this will be equal to 2 N minus 2 lambda by 2, okay, A dark fringes, and a direct condition is set here. So, if D is equal to dark fringe condition, you can 2 D is equal to N lambda, it will be less than already. Upper slides are chupin chum, actually. Yeah. So it is for dark fringe, 2D is equal to N lambda. 2D is equal to N lambda. This is condition for dark fringe. So for dark fringe, 2D is equal to N lambda. So either this coach, either this coach. Rendu this coach, either this coach. So you have to try and set for the next angle. So similarly for dark fringe, dark fringe, and general dark fringe, so 2D is equal to N lambda. D means, already we know that the value of D is equal to R square by small R square by 2R. So 2D means, 2 into d is nothing but r square by small r square by 2 r is equal to n lambda. So 2 to cancel, small r square is equal to n lambda r. But r is radius. The radius is nothing but diameter by 2. So r square is equal to n lambda r, d square is equal to r is equal to d by 2. So r square into d by 2 whole square into d square. That is for nth ring, nth ring and none. Nth, okay. Diameter of the square of the diameter of the nth ring. This is radius of the nth, di, nth ring. Radius of the nth ring. So R n nth ring. Actually n, n represents the nth, nth ring. So R square n is equal to n lambda R. Similarly, D square n. Square of the diameter of the nth dark ring. Dark ring this nth dark ring. So square of the diameter of the nth dark ring is equal to, we got the value for n lambda R. So that Dn is equal to this one. లేదా ఎట్లా ఉంచేసుకోండి డి స్క్వేర్ ఎన్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు స్క్వేర్ ఆఫ్ ది డయామీటర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎంత్రింగ్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్ ఎన్ లాండా ఆర్ సిమిలర్లీ ఇఫ్ ద స్క్వేర్ ఆఫ్ ది డయామీటర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎంత్ డార్క్ రింగ్ ఎంత్ డార్క్ రింగ్ తెలుసు సో ఎంత్ డార్క్ రింగ్ కావాలంటే సో డి స్క్వేర్ ఎం ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్ ఎం లాండా ఆర్ సో డిఎం వాల్యూ వేసాను సో దాని నుంచి డిఎన్ వాల్యూ వేసాము సో డి స్క్వేర్ ఎన్ నుంచి డిఎన్ వాల్యూ వేసుకున్నారు అలాగే డి స్క్వేర్ ఎం నుంచి డిఎం వాల్యూ వేసుకున్నారు దట్ ఈస్ డయామీటర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎంత్ రింగ్ Uh, diameter of mth ring. So, mth ring is actually fringes part of the mth ring. So, we have to use mth ring. mth ring diameter. m is equal to 21st ring diameter. n is equal to 9th ring. n is equal to 9th ring. So, 21st ring diameter. m is equal to 21. So, d square 21. n is equal to 9. d square 9. So, this diameter is not calculated, sir. So, we have to choose. here it is a microscope ee microscope use chesi so suppose 21st ring iskondi di of course ide 21st ring ankonde outer edge ring 21st ring ankonde ee microscope ni em chestam ante microscope lo vertical cross wire untundi ee vertical cross wire ni ee center nundi ee 21st ring yokka left edge ki elipothe ikkada reading cross vertical cross wire in this microscope coincides with the left edge of the 21st ring similarly at which you have to note down total reading similarly the microscope is moving towards the right side and the vertical cross in the microscope is coincides with the uh, right edge of this uh, 21st ring so ikka reading note cheskunnaru left edge ed the reading note cheskunnaru similarly 21st ring ku right edge the reading note cheskunnaru ee rendu readings difference iskunte diameter of the 21st ring vastundi so that will be clearly observed you must observe in your physics lab experiment that is newton's rings Similarly, you have to observe, you have to calculate the diameter of the nth ring. n is equal to 9th is equal now. So, d square 9 value is equal. Diameter of the nth ring is equal to dn is equal to d square. Okay, n is equal to d square. So, diameter of the 21st ring because m is equal to 21. Diameter of the nth ring that is n is equal to 9. So, d square 9. 
so that so here uh, uh, okay by subtracting these two here by subtracting these two d square m minus d square n d square 20 first minus d square 9 divided by 4 lambda into m minus n ikkada meer square cheskondi d square n is equal to ochindi d square m is equal to 4 m lambda r ochindi so d square m minus d square n different chain subtract chain subtract just 4 lambda constant untundi into m minus n into r untundi r 4 okay 4 lambda r constant into m minus 1 astundi so idigo d square m minus d square n is equal to m outundi d square m minus d square n is equal to ikkada chudni teesukochandi ni 4 lambda r common into m minus n so ikka r value kavali where r is radius of curvature of this plano convex lens e plano convex lens ikka radius of curvature cap r is equal to m outundi d square m minus d square n by 4 lambda into m minus n so diameters of newton's rings are proportional to square root of natural numbers square root of natural numbers okay uh, anyhow coming to the remaining applications also with the bright difference this conoil also the condition was going to sneak condition is mostly but generally the dark fringe condition was going to move so but the employer didn't do chip in shadow okay mirror of this concert coming to measurement of what are the remaining applications of this newton strings we have to calculate the radius of curvature of the given plane no convex lens and the second one measurement of wavelength the wavelength of the instant light is also calculated by using newton strings and also the measurement of refractive index of the any liquid or any air film or any thin film so we have three applications by using this newton strings experiment uh, so we have to calculate the radius of curvature of the first one the radius of curvature of the given planar convex lens r are to be calculated and the wavelength of the instant light lambda is also calculated by using formula lambda is equal to d square n plus p minus d square n by 4 pr and also the refractive index of the given thin film mu is equal to mu is equal to d square n plus p minus d square n by d dash square n plus p minus d dash square dn of course you will have me but the radius of curvature matter calculate shame and tattoo but in the country remaining applications could chup in channel making it at the moment and the law hello hello if you could choose an x sorry if you could make one and it didn't explain just now is it clear now yes sir Okay, if dm and dn and dn plus p, akkada dm and dn anna nu, and the diameter of m3 nu, diameter of m3 anna nu akkada, okay. So measurement of wavelength ka apit ikkada, diameter of m3 nu, diameter of m plus nu, n plus p ring this kuna nu. So if dn and dn plus p gives diameter of m3 nu, and n plus p ring, okay, n plus p ring, dark yes dark rings respectively then d square n is equal to this condition so d square n plus p n plus law n plus p per thumb in case n plus we can m on the condi n plus m at the moon you can plus the n plus p on the property n plus law n plus p better so in it is subtract chain so in this subtract just a d square n plus p minus d square n is equal to 4 p lambda r so lambda is equal to so d square n plus p minus d square n divided by 4 by r so this is lambda you can calculate just a two you can make lambda cover on a condi so the inflow program on key nico lambda is equal to lambda this go are it is coach a so lambda is equal to d square m minus d square n by 4 r into m minus n you know 4 r 4 r p and a so this is the m minus n, n plus p minus n. This is the m, this is the n, 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 n. m minus n, 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 n. Here is the n plus p minus n, 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 n. So you need to subtract just the p. So you need to draw for draw just the number. So number of rings is more x-axis. Take the number of rings on the x-axis. And it is where values of the d square. That means d square values are along on the y-axis. So you have to choose the scale in appropriate value. Okay, according to your appropriate values. So on the x-axis, the number of rings taken the each one centimeter region is equally okay uh, taken as uh, uh, one centimeter region equally equal to two rings, zero. Here two rings, four rings, 
సిక్స్త్ ఓకే ట్వెల్వ్ అప్ టు ట్వంటీ టూ రింగ్స్ వరకు తీసుకుంటున్నాము దీస్పే వాల్యూస్ మీకు వచ్చిన దీస్పే వాల్యూస్ బట్టి దీస్పే వాల్యూస్ చూస్ చేసుకుని ఇక్కడ వైఎక్స్ స్కేల్ నోట్ చేసుకుంటాము డీస్పే వాల్యూస్ సో ఈ మీకు వచ్చినటువంటి వాల్యూస్ టాబ్ల ఫామ్ వాల్యూస్ బట్టి మీరు పాయింట్స్ ఐడెంటిఫై చేస్తే జస్ట్ యూ గాట్ ఎ స్ట్రైట్ లైన్ ఈ స్ట్రైట్ లైన్ కి జస్ట్ యూ హ్ టు చూస్ ఎనీ టూ పాయింట్స్ ఒక టూ పాయింట్స్ తీసుకుని దాని మీద స్లోప్ క్యాల్కులేట్ చేస్తే సో దిస్ ఇస్ స్లోప్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఆల్వేస్ స్లోప్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు టాన్ థిట్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆపోజిట్ సైడ్ డివైడ్ బై అడ్జెంట్ సైడ్ దిస్ ఆపోజిట్ సైడ్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వై టూ మైనస్ వై వన్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ డి స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూస్ డి స్క్వేర్ ఎం ఎన్ ప్లస్ పి మైనస్ డి స్క్వేర్ ఎన్ డివైడ్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ పి మైనస్ ఎన్ అదర్వైజ్ ఇక్కడ డి స్క్వేర్ ఎం ఇది ఎం త్రింగ్ డి స్క్వేర్ ఎం మైనస్ డి స్క్వేర్ ఎన్ డివైడ్ బై ఎం మైనస్ ఎన్ సో ఇట్లా తీసుకున్నాం so therefore lambda can be calculated by using this formula is here it is also given so next r is equal to already we have learned this one okay r is equal to d square m minus d square into 4 lambda into m minus n ekku use chestam lab lo idi coming to last one measurement of refractive index so how can you measure the refractive index of the any given tin pen oil pen first dn and dn plus p that is diameter of nth ring a diameter of n plus p ring dark ring okay respectively is measured with air film in between that means ikkada air film that means here consider from this here geometrical figure so this is plano convexness this is a circular glass plate between them you just you have to place one air film air film place chesi d square okay air film place chesi d square n plus p minus d square n is equal to calculate chesam 4p lambda r without disturbing arrangement so it already chesses avu next em chestunaru without disturbing arrangement liquid is poured in the container again d dash n d dash n plus p is measured ante instead of this air film of course this air film is replaced by any liquid film or oil film enduku oka liquid film ichanu aa liquid film ku refract index me calculate cheyamannanu so first air film toti d d square p d square n d square n plus p calculate chesesam d square n d square n plus p minus d square n calculate chesesam this is in the presence of air film between plano convex lens and circular glass plate so that that air film is replaced by a uh, liquid so is poured in the container so which which is placed instead of this air film ఈ ఎయిర్ ఫిలిం తీసేసి ఎయిర్ ఫిలిం ప్లేస్ లో లిక్విడ్ ఫిలిం లిక్విడ్ మనం ఇక్కడ పోర్ చేస్తాం లిక్విడ్ పోస్తాం ఇక్కడ బికాస్ ఆ లిక్విడ్ యొక్క ఆ లిక్విడ్ ఫిలిం యొక్క రిఫ్రాక్ట్ ఇండెక్స్ మీ కాల్కులేట్ చేయాలి మనం సో ఇప్పుడు లిక్విడ్ ప్లేస్ చేసి ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిర్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు ప్లేస్ ఎ లిక్విడ్ ఫిలిం సే బై యూసింగ్ దిస్ లిక్విడ్ ఫిలిం అగైన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అబ్జర్వ్ ఇంటర్ఫరెన్స్ ఫినామినా న్యూటన్ రింగ్స్ అండ్ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ ద వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ d square that's no d dash square n plus p minus d dash square d, d dash square n so d square n plus p minus d square n undi that is in the presence of air film air between plano convex lens and circular glass plate but here this is this d dash square n plus p minus d dash square n this is here in the presence of liquid film okay in the presence of liquid okay so you have to calculate this one 4p lambda r by mu here ikkada mu untundi but mu is equal to 1 ikkada ayithe air film ki refract index mu 1 but liquid film ki refract index nik teliyadu so calculate cheyali kaabatti anta refract index mu vesukunnam so divided by cheyandi so diameter of rings reduced in liquid liquid film nu chuste diameter reduce avutund anamata using the above and equations so mu is equal to so d dash square n plus p minus d dash square n divided by sorry Uh, d square n plus p minus d square n divided by d dash square n plus p minus d dash square n so this is the refractive index of the given thin film is also calculated by using this newton's index experiment the last one here so these are two uh, more up to another two, two more examples of the interference from thin films so that is the here peacock the uh, here already you know that it is very very, very best example of uh, entrance from interference from thin films and soap bubbles that is oil films so soap bubbles so these are very uh, two best examples of uh, interference from thin films uh, okay
So uh, this is con this concept is over. Uh, any doubts regarding this concept, Newton's rings? Tell me. Hello. No, sir. Ah. So, manoki, mundi kaldam aithe. So next class me kide 